Hello, welcome to Train Simulator. Sorry for the slight delay. The quick drive for this route is a little bit bugged, so I've had to choose, uh, I've had to reload it a couple times. It's, I've, I've got it now, so that's good. Hello, Kango Fango. Kango, 1985, I'm there. <gasps> really? Are you a thrill seeker if you were there at 1985? Soon. Hmm. I'm afraid that information is classified on all fronts for all intents and purposes. Oi oi. Oi oi? Why do you, what do you mean? Uh, right. So, the UP FEF3 or FEF3. 1958, not 1985. Oh yes, 1958. It's because in, in German it's the other way around. It's, but that's the number I meant. So, since this locomotive is designed to run on, uh, well, to run quite quick trains, and most of the American routes I have are either not very fast or are really quite boring. For example, the Northeast Corridor. It's got high speed limits, but it's not that interesting. I mean, I've got another one which is quite interesting. Well, it's interesting, but it's a little bit laggy, which is the um, New Haven. Is New Haven? The, the transit, the that one, you know what I mean. Um, so, I thought we'd do a nice evening drive on this route. And we'll have to see how the performance is, because I am running the high detail version, I may switch over to the standard definition version. So, we'll see. No, not to the pass, not for the river. Uh, nope, it's this one. This is Florida. And originally I was, I wanted to start at West Palm Beach and go down to maybe Fort Lauderdale or something. But it the quick drive wouldn't load. It put the train on the wrong way. So we're starting at Miami down here and we're just going to see how far up we can get before we switch over to Planet Coaster. Mommy West Palm Beach, yes. <laughs> so, let's see. Actually, I need to switch this over to the blackness. No, to the main screen. There we are. Let's switch over. <clears throat> so, actually, that seems quite quiet. Yeah, that is really quite quiet. Hold on. I need to change the volume a bit. Let's see how this works. That seems a bit better. The performance is probably okay. So this is the Union Pacific FEF3. And actually I do have a question. Which is, should I try to drive it with or without the automatic fireman? The automatic fireman is at the moment automatically on. We could turn it off and also fire it ourselves. See, that's, all, that's the fireman moving the controls there. What should we do? What's more fun? Main scream dot wave, eh? Oh, neat, he says. Yes, I know, but... But what should we do? If you're confident enough with it, feel free to manufacture. What do you mean confident enough? <laughs> I've never tried it, but we can do it, we can try. So this is evening. It's about 7 uh, p.m. And it's autumn. Sure then, okay, let's see. If I turn it off, it's, if it, is it gonna reset the controls? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it just leaves the controls where they are. So that... Let's open that. Well, and that's... Well, we don't need it now. We don't need it yet. We've probably got enough water in... Yeah, we've got plenty of water in there. Let's make sure all the stuff is on. That is already on. Great. All the pressure is looking good. Is the... The dynamo is on. We've got power. The lights do seem to be on, yes. 
Uh, Alright, you've got to click on the actual light bulbs. Okay, let's let's just open the cylinder cocks just so we don't forget. Uh, <laughs> water column blowdown, fine. Let's see, what is the if I so the doors are already open back here. You can actually open and close these. You can actually look at the temperature there on that gauge. Hold on, I'm not sure which which camera view is optimal for that because you can actually heat up the oil in the tender which will make it uh, run better. Okay, we don't have a diesel engine so we don't need this thing here which would control a diesel engine that's, that could be coupled to the back. Uh, gauge lights. Should probably keep this on. Let's see, what's that up there? Oh, the air pump, that's be good. Water gauge. Oh, that's that water gauge. There, I see. Right, that's all fine. Where is the? Uh, is it? No, not that. I meant on. Yes. There we go. Where's the other thing? Uh, blow off. Cock shut off. Nope. I'm looking for. Yes, this heat water pump shut up. That's already open. Good. So we, sh I think, this already pretty much set up. So the lights on the outside, down here, are on. And this is all simulated. Like this is one of the, if not the most realistically simulated steam engine for a train simulator. Um, Good luck then. Give Shredder his luck 500. What season? Autumn or fall? We need to still switch on the front light. And I think we can pretty much get going then. If not that way. Um, do it there. Okay, that's on. Great. Uh, oh, what button is for the, the light beam? Oh, do you remember? Was it numpad something? Hold on. I'll need to quickly check in the... in the manual, because I do have a manual. I need to check what the light beam button is. One moment. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Simulation stuff. Where is it? There we go. Uh, okay. Okay, so I've got it up. Let's have a look here. Um, Keyboard. And you can download this from the Steam page, the manual. So let's see, where is the thing? <laughs> Atomizer, nope. Feed water pump, control valve. <laughs> ah, this might be it. Over here, somewhere. Ca uh, shadows cast by lights. Is that what I want? Might be. Let's try that. Um, Control Shift S. Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Hold on. Can I can I search in this? I might be able to search in this. I know I could have prepared this a bit better, I know, I know, I know. Um, oh, this one. Uh, headlight beam. Control shift H. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we are, back in the game. Control shift H. There we go, now we've got a light beam in front of us. Not sure how drastically that's going to impact frame rate. Seems to be okay. So, let's see if we can get going. So, this has a quilled uh, whistle, which means if I hold spacebar, and then also hold return, you can hear how it changes the pitch. 
So con uh, gauges. Here we've got the steam chest exhaust pressure. This is the in-cap signaling. And it's also got a Mars light that can be controlled by this, but we don't need that at the moment. That's for emergencies only, I think. Here we've got the brake pressure stuff. We've got boiler pressure over here, seems to be good. We've got the speed down there. We go over here, we've got boiler pressure up there as well. And we've got water, of course, in here. Now, it should the water level should never be visible on this. If it's visible on this one, then you've overfilled it. Uh, also, here you've got the atomizer and feed water pump. So, at the moment, is that off? Now, let, let's just leave it on just a little bit. Okay, so, what's the Mars light for? I'm fully intrigued. I think the Mars light is for emergencies. So, let's see if we can get going. So, let's release the locomotive brake. Now, let's release the train brake. If that Was that train brake already on, or is it just... No, but it looks like brakes are completely off now. Okay. So, I think we can get going. And uh, these, unfortunately, do not have a proper interior. So, here we are. Let's put the cutter forward. Let's pull back on this a bit. Let's turn the sander on. Uh, forward sander. But why are the... Oh, the master thing was already open. Ah, well that's... Okay. <laughs> this is our, these are our statistics, we can see. And you can see that by clicking up here on that bit of paper. Performance report. Smoke detectors? Yeah, we can turn them on or off, depending on what we want. And you can see the light flashing in the firebox down there. Okay, we need a little bit more. Let's open the atomizer a little bit more. Actually, is the blower open? That's a good question. Now it is. Haha. <laughs> and the dampers? I think. Hold on. I think that's the dampers open. Could be mistaken. I think that's the dampers open like that. Anyway. Oh, why are we losing so much pressure? Hold on. <laughs> plenty of water, plenty of other stuff. Let's have a quick look over here. Oh, we have fire mass. We, sh we just need a bit more um, oil in the firebox, really, I think. Have a look. Is that open? Yes. Let's see how this goes. Should really have a little bit more in there. Oh, that's the tank heater. That's what I was looking for before. Yes, there we go. Now our fire mass is increasing. Uh, quite quite rapidly actually. Let's reduce that a bit. Okay, still increasing slightly. That's going to be good. We've got a top speed of uh, 20, a track speed of 20 at the moment. And we're going to go no non-stop. Hello, uh, VGR. <laughs> right. Uh, also, what's the smoke deflector valve actually used for IRL? I don't know. If you use the, the tank blowback, maybe if it's blocked or something. But if you click on that, then look, you can remove the smoke deflectors in front. Or if you click it again, 
make the smoke effect just come back. So, welcome! Stream total, UP for three, running on rails, uh-huh. I think we're getting a little bit too much oil in there now, let's reduce that a little bit. Okay, that seems to be holding quite nicely. Got plenty of water, yes. Hey, Shard Eyes! Oh, hi! Welcome in! Leave those injectors on! Which injectors do you mean? Oh, I can feel the virus heat from here! Well, it's not too bad, but still! <laughs> okay. Let's just move that out of the way so we can look ahead. Oh, we might get the in-cap signaling alert soon. Which will show up here. Uh, as we pass the signal. Maybe. Come on. Nope. Okay. And all of the controls are represented in here, so if you could change a control, it'll change it in here as well. For example, the, um, oh, I don't know, if we look on the other side, um, look at that <coughs> lever there. As I, actually, that's not the right one. Ah, uh, oh, where is it? Okay, if you look at that lever up here, which is the throttle, so as I change that, you can see that moving there as well. And that's actually also moving the throttle bar thing, which is on the side. You can't see it properly because it's so dark. But it's this bar right here that you can see in the middle of the screen there. Uh, anything that pumps water. <laughs> yeah, the, well, we, we don't need more water. If we put more water in, then we'll overfill it and then we'll prime the engine. Okay, now we can open it up a little bit more. Charis, <laughs> I think I'd suggest though, bake the base boiler mesh twice, once with smoke effects and once without, so that it switches textures when you toggle them, so that the shadows doesn't, doesn't stay on the boiler. Um, do they stay on the boiler? <coughs> Is that a thing? <coughs> Prime what? The locomotive. Because if you overfill the locomotive spoiler with water, then you know you've got the dome at the top, which is where the steam exits the boiler and goes down towards the cylinders. If you put too much water in, if you put too much water in, then you'll get water into that steam pipe and you'll pump water, like liquid water, down to the cylinders, which, and since liquid water can't compress, you will probably you'll cause the cylinders to explode so that's what it means to prime a locomotive well anyway ca cause serious damage they might not explode if it's just a little bit of water but it could seriously damage them to the point where they just won't work anymore and that's the best case scenario uh, worst case scenario they explode And you can actually also check this, so if we think that this isn't accurate, we can drain it and then let it come back up and we can see what to what level the water comes back up up here, see the black thing. Too much water will lower performance? Well, yeah, by making it uh, so that the locomotive can't go anymore. Okay, that fire mass seems to be good. Reshadow. Right, I think so, yes. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. I 
I know that wasn't perfect. Haha. <laughs> I'm not really paying that much attention to the crossings anyway at this point. Hey, we've just got a speed of 40. Hey. <laughs> Yes, indeed. And actually, we can increase the feed water pump a little bit. Maybe not that much. Maybe just like that. And you can see this is the pressure in it. The feed water pump pressure. Just since we're not really needing that much speed at the moment, not using that much steam. I might as well top up on water now. <laughs> That's a interesting pose there. 12 uh, coaches, by the way. This is just the consist that comes with the DLC. Glorious, magnificent, eh? Yes. Let's see, open that a bit more. Let's see, is that the water column blow down? That's fine. This is the one I wanted. The gauge light. Uh, the gauge thing. Just let's just see where it goes back up to. Just back up to there, that looks like it's fine. And I think this loco also has it simulated where if you go up or down a hill, the readout on the gauge glass, the water gauge glass, actually changes. Hello, Mrs. Snipes. Championship Pickle Dance uses that theme song? Really? That's Spencer's theme song from Thomas and Friends. <laughs> Why is that lever swinging all over the place? That? That's the whistle. It's on a chain up to on the ceiling. You can see that's the chain uh, at the cord going down to that. And because the cab is swaying side to side, that's why it's swinging side to side. So you see, if I pull, that's the whistle. It is realistic. <laughs> Really? It's a Spence theme from Total the Engine. Welcome in though. Welcome. Yes, this is the Union Pacific F3. F3. For some reason in Miami. Uh, to, to West Palm Beach. In Florida. Uh, the main reason is because I wanted to have a bit of a high speed limit, which... Incidentally, when are we getting to that bit? So at the moment we're still running on 40. Is that increasing the water level? 0.78. Let's have a look. 0.79. Yes, it is increasing. Okay, that's good. Uh, steam at speed is exciting. Yes, but at the moment we're limited to 40 miles per hour. We should get up to 70, 78 at some point, but I will do Planet Coaster after this. So let's just have a look. Center player. Ooh, maybe we're going to speed up after this turn, so it might go that way and then we'll speed up around here, maybe. Oh, 45. Great, we get a 5 mile per hour increase down there. Let's have a look. Fire mass is looking great. Water levels getting there as well. Uh, it looks really nice, but contours are not detectable with all the black Metal everywhere. Bit of a pity. Mm. Yeah, but it's very cozy in here and all the controls and everything. Ooh, look at that. It's getting night time. Yes, this is evening, by the way. Fire's going. <coughs>
Look at how great this is animated. The valve here. Um, yes. Uh, oh yes, by the way, I'm making a new mainline loco. Oh? What is it, and for what game? Is it in Scrap Mechanic? Okay, and there we go, we've got the 45. Once we've passed it. Um... Even from the outside, a lot of the model detail in the boiler is a bit lost like this. True. Uh, it's not big. Ah well, it's only a bobo axle arrangement. Ah, uh, I see. I know what that means. No, I actually do know what that means. Those lights above the wheels are lovely too. Yes, it's scrap mechanic. Mm-hmm. In scrap mechanic. Mm-hmm. Nice. Diesel electric? Probably diesel, I would be... I, I would guess, but who knows. Next gen electric. Oh, electric, there you go. <laughs> we're already at 45. And we're slightly blowing off. Okay, I think that's probably going to be enough water for now. Let's. Let's not reduce it all the way, let's keep it open a little bit like that. Just a little bit like this. That should keep us pretty steady. Fire mass is increasing a little bit too much. Since we're not really accelerating at this point, I think I can reduce that down to almost nothing. Like there, maybe. Seeing the scenery fly by out there. Well, not fly by yet. Um, uh, uses XV to develop engines as prime mover. Ah, I see. That either the engine theme's pitch should be dialed down because of this engine's sheer side. <laughs> sheer side? What do you mean? Probably means size. NLP. 35P is the name, okay? No wait, just NLP 35 size. Yeah, I thought you meant the size. Haha. <laughs> A little bit more power, not too much. This engine is really quite powerful and you can tell that it really just wants to go, but at the moment I have to hold it at 45-ish. Let's have a look at the fire mass. Fire mass is doing okay. Although we can shut the feed water pump at the moment, wouldn't want to accidentally prime it. And the feed water pump is for the exhaust steam. If we want to use the live injector, then we need to use these levers down here, which is that one's the live injector lever, and that one's the live injector uh, water. So the valve. The <laughs> ah, there's the speed increase 79 miles per hour ahead. That, that little yellow thing on the bottom there. Oh, just look at how nice it looks going through those, these islands of light here. Ooh. And that's another reason why I wanted to pick this one, because I wanted to have something in the evening. And on this route, that um, is doable with some light as well. Keep an eye on... Ooh, fire mass is getting a bit low. Let's increase the... Uh, oil regulator a little bit. And if you, if you couldn't tell, this is the advanced version of the locomotive. There's the speed sign, now we just need to pass it. Oh, it also has a bell, by the way. The lever for which is, I think, that? No, that's the forward sender. Uh, no, that's the air bell. Which is actually animated. So you can see up there that little thing in the middle banging against the bell. Pneumatic, of course. Ah, we've got the speed. 
Okay. Turn the bell off. Now it's going to get interesting. Okay. Because now we can accelerate to 79 mph. Let's increase that to maximum. Keep an eye on the boiler pressure over here. Looks like we are losing a little bit of pressure, but that's fine. How's our... Ooh, yeah, we need more. Open that up. Okay, now we're gaining fire mass, which is great. How's our boiler pressure doing? It is dropping. Let's reduce the throttle a little bit. But we need to just get the fire mass up. Let's try like that. Fire mass is getting there. Good. How's our boiler pressure doing? Not too high, but that's okay. We are still uh, getting speed. Golden Glades, track two. We're pa gonna pass soon. Ooh, look at that. Okay, boil pressure seems to be increasing. Let's reduce that down a little bit. To there, maybe. Water levels fine. And we're still increasing speed, great. Past 55, well, 56. And yes, we are gaining boil pressure, which is great. Right, um, wouldn't want to accidentally climb it. <laughs> Size, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you said prime. Boil pressure regulated successfully. <laughs> Majority of the screen's color 000, unfortunately, but uh, well, at least it's cozy. I mean, if it was dark and not cozy, shutters. <laughs> Come on, just look at these controls. Isn't that great? Climbing up to 60. Um, sure it is, but yeah, for a show case of the locomotive, I think it would have been better if you had perhaps chosen one of the DLC liveries, if you have them choose a different time frame. Well, I wanted to have evening, and then have a transition into night time, and I would, I would have picked a little bit of an earlier time, but considering that I didn't have that much time uh, to choose, uh, to, to, um, prepare this, and then given that the, uh, in this map the quick drive is a bit bugged, and I had to reload in several times with that, I just couldn't do a test for the time. I would have maybe loaded in half an hour earlier or something if I were to do it again. Is that staying there, the speed? Oop, hold on. Uh, that speed, the boil pressure. Yeah, just about staying there. Good. Let's have a look at that. Okay, we could use a little bit more water. Let's just open that a bit more. Oh, we've gone past 70. Still accelerating. Good. Ooh, look at that drive gear going. Um, could you change the general brightness by camera settings? Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Comment camera options. Um, 
uh, gen general options. Maybe the ambient light intensity, I don't know. I don't think that's changed much. Maybe it has, who knows. Okay, need to keep an eye on the water. Ooh, yeah, the water is dropping. Look at that. About half glass. Let's open that up fully. How's our fire doing? Fire mass is slowly going down, but that's fine. Is our boiler water level dropping? Or is it staying where it is? It is pretty much staying where it is. Which is fine for the moment. Seventy seven miles per hour. Look at the those palm tree silhouettes in the background going by. Look if we look out our window here. Look at that. Look at how fast we're going. Oh, and there's a 45. Okay. Right, so this is the part where... I need to reduce that a bit. Um, okay, I need to slow down soonish. Sunlight too, maybe. The sunlight intensity too, maybe. This part is a rocketing. <laughs> well, there is no sunlight at the moment. Okay, now let's see how well I can slow this down. Because... Let's just try... Um, let's try... If I put it in first service... A little bit more... Let's try there. Left. I'm looking at the gauge here on the left. The, the, that's the brake cylinder. The left red one is the brake cylinder. So that's a 25 pound uh, application. Speed limit of 45 miles per hour approaching. Adapt speed accordingly. Yes, thank you. And these brakes are a bit interesting. I think that you once you make an application, you have to release them completely before you can make another application. I think that's how they work. Mm, let's make... let's... increase it. I mean, I mean, I can increase the brake pressure here. It's just if I decrease it, I think I have to decrease it all the way and then do it. Okay, so we're now... We've just about made. We've gone a little bit too much, but... That's fine. Let's keep an eye. Okay. Water's good. Fire mass is good. I think we could use a little bit less on the... Uh, on the thing. On the oil regulator. A little bit less. Up there. Okay, you're doing great with the firing. Thank you. Although we have slowed down a little bit too much now. Let's just regain a little bit more speed. Ooh, let's watch it go by by the crossing, wherever it is. Wait, where's the crossing? Ah, all the way over here. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. How's Firemass doing? Ooh, dropping. Okay. Ahem, 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 Put that up. I, sin I think since we're not pushing it that hard, we might be able to pull back on the atomizer a little bit. How's the water level? Eh, water level's still going up. That's good. Wow, great work, Smokebox. Mm-hmm. Hollywood! Track 2. Ooh, actually, we're approaching 9 o'clock. So... Should I stop at Hollywood 2? Please let me know. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And uh, no chat, not that Hollywood. Florida's Hollywood, yes. <laughs> but still, should I? There, w Where would the next stop be after this? Well, considering you left it so late, we kind of have no choice but hunting to continue to the next stop. So the next stop after Hollywood would be... Actually, pretty much there. Um... Here we go, Hollywood. Ooh, actually. Come on. Ooh. Nice. That looks like it's all going fine. Um... There's Twitch chat delay. I know. But the next stop would be up here, uh, Fort Lauderdale Airport. Let's stop at Fort Lauderdale Airport then. There we go, steam chest pressure, it's doing good. And you can actually mel uh, s well, weld it to the rails. If your wheels slip too much, then the wheels get so hot that you can actually literally weld the locomotive to the rails. Oh, actually, Sheer Sheridan Street. That's a bit closer. Um, tell you what, we'll, we'll go to Fort Lauderdale Airport. Alrighty. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we can get a nice screenshot over here as well. See, this is why I wanted it to be in the evening and then at night, so that you can have nice images like this will be. Ooh, okay, and we are pretty much up to 60. Okay, we need more fuel in the mix, more, more fuel in the firebox. Oh, come on, don't, don't be in the way, please, guy. Okay, bit too soon, I think. Yes, if you had been in the way, then I wouldn't have had to do that. Oh, yes, we need more fuel in there. Okay, increase this. Okay, how's water doing? Water's fine. Fire mass. A little bit more. Let's check in our report. Black smoke, not great. Soot, not great. Uh, screenshot opportunity detected. Screenshot opportunity detected. Capture. Catalog. Archive. <laughs> yes, yes. Ooh, we need to actually reduce that slightly because we need more fuel in here.
Yeah, we really did lose quite a lot of boil pressure there. Let's regain a bit of boil pressure first. All right, because the brakes on release. That will explain quite a bit. Okay, we're approaching Fort Lauderdale at 0.8 miles. Poor guy can't help it, though he was programmed that way. Aww. Was that uh, was that a Jessica Rabbit quote reference? Red smoke, zero hours, one minute, thirty-five seconds. Really? <laughs> okay, let's have a look at that. You can see if I had the platform. I think I should get to breaking. Huh? Who? Jessica Rabbit. Okay, let's go into service. Try something like 30 pounds ish. Well, 35, sure. Okay, no, a bit more, please. Service. Let's try that. Let's increase the... let's put on the sander. I might overshoot this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna overshoot this. Actually, let's put the local brakes on quick application as well. Yeah, I'm overshooting this. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's... I still have to reduce the brakes on this. <laughs> as long as one coach is on the thing, um, I'm gonna be happy to call it a day. Wait, did I have the regulator on? I thought I turned it off. Did Was the regulator on all, all this time? Please, tell me. I think it was. Ha! Huh. Well, that's an interesting end to it. Um, ahem. Yes, please all, exit. Exit here. No, exit, yes, good. <laughs> uh, that would explain why we overshot it, because I had the regulator open. Well, needless to say, I still need to practice with this locomotive quite, quite a bit. But, it really is great to drive. Okay. And tell you what, let's let's load it back in during the day, well, a little bit earlier, so that we've got a few minutes, just so that you can see the locomotive a little bit better. Let's try that. Well, let's start from Fort Lauderdale. Um, who was that? Sorry, character from who? Who from the Trevor? Yes. Or what? Exeter. Exit here? Oh, exit here. Oh! Overland! No, not overland. Not overland. Oh well. I will, will do overland the next time I drive it, maybe. Ooh, that's a nice picture. Pity that the Clinchfield Railroad doesn't work for me. The, it has quite the graphical glitches. Like, I think it's the signals for that one that are just the polygon stretched for miles and miles and miles. Ah! That's unfortunate. It seems to have crashed. Um, don't know why. Sometimes it does that. Let's retry that. We'll be back with you soon. Soon. Very soon. Ah, nice screenshot. Bear view. D o d o. Yes, d o to you too. Tell you what, we can have a look at the overland livery now if you want. Since I'm restarting it anyway. Okay, here we are. A bit too bright. There we go. If it won't take longer, sure. It'll only take a little tiny bit longer, but not much. I've just got to select it off the menu, which means it has to load the Locos. So quick drive, select that. <clears throat> if you would drive the yellow one next time, maybe the grey one. If you drive the yellow one next time, ah, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Overland. 
you want gray, gray silver, 12 cars, advanced HD. Okay, let's try that one then. And go. Eh, sure. You said the gray one, if we drive the yellow one next time. Was that not the gray one that I selected? I thought I selected the gray one. Yes. Well then everything's good. Yes. <laughs> These look like beech trees, the leaves, I think. Bear view again. Bear view. Let's see if it'll work a little bit better this time. Okay, so things seem to be good and you can turn do so much stuff like you in this you can even change the um, what they called the wheel slip physics model for for what the weather is I think it's control 3 control shift 3 I don't know something like that anyway so yes this is one of the other liveries actually it's I'll get it in the sun, one moment. Okay, that one was already open. One moment, let me just get it in the sun. Yeah, yeah, overcharge, I know. Let's just quickly get it in the sun. See, this is more the sort of time I wanted to start at and then have a transition into night time as we went on, but I didn't have enough time to test that, unfortunately. Yes, what even caused it to crash? I don't know. It sometimes just does it. So yes, here you can see smoke, uh, steam, one moment. Okay, and this, the automatic fireman is on at the moment, so that's good. No need to worry about that. So there you can see uh, this livery. Beautiful locomotive, isn't it? Let's just keep it going at sort of that speed-ish. That wasn't a very good screenshot. Hold on. Oop, oh, where is it? I've lost my train of thought. Wait, no. Shui! Yes. So, yeah, this is the high resolution model. You can see all the different rivets and things actually 3D modeled on here. Everything working nicely. You can even open the things on the tender and actually see the water and oil in there. Let's actually just disable the uh, smoke deflectors. Just so you can see what this locomotive looks like without them a bit better. There you go. See? Oh yeah, it does look like there's a little bit of a fake thing, but that could just be soot. This locomotive really is something. Well done, Smokebox. Look at all those 3D modeled rivets down there on the firebox. Look at all this working and moving and how that's modeled. Just look at all of that. Tell you what, you want to see the Mars light? Sure, I'll show you the Mars light and then we'll switch over. There you go, the Mars light is now on and turning. So if you look out here, you can actually see the red of it as it's turning. Okay. 
Let's go into emergency. <laughs> For the Mars life to actually be useful. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Dismount the smoke diffs, unmount, close the doors to exceptional work. Well done. It's a bit of an understatement. Well, you mean for me or for smoke box? Yeah, you can see the clo to close the doors back here. Uh, you can just close them like that. You can also open the front windows and the things at the bottom here and all the different things. You can even close or open the uh, hatch in the top there. And of course, all of this is mirrored on the outside as well. All the controls. So, there we are. It's even got a little light out in the porch. Yes, a locomotive that has a porch light, which you can turn on and off up there. Uh, so, yes, and this is, uh, yeah, see, this is the, the oil temperature in the, in the tender. And you can actually change that with the tank heater here. So if you... Actually, I can't do that because it's the automatic fireman changing it. But there we go. Yeah, because I didn't drive that locomotive very well. I mean, I got it to where I wanted to go, roughly. But, I mean, I, I, I forgot that I had still got the regulator open. <laughs> uh, no, I still need to practice quite a lot. But it is really good. Really, really good. So let's go for Planet Coaster now. So I'll be back with you shortly after I reach out. Oh, wow. Did the UP Challenger also have Mars lights at some point? I have no idea. No idea. Um, even the frontal windows are closable. Yes, they are. Anyway, I'll see you in a few moments with Planet Coaster. Bye! For now. Mm-hmm.